As well, we're seeing some patchy clouds to the north where there have been a few sprinkles too, but look how chilly Monticello at 37 degrees, 49 in White Plains, 51 in Newark, American Islip. We're sitting about 50 degrees at Central Park. The winds have picked up a bit too. The front's cleared. We're gusting 10, 20 plus miles per hour. That's going to be a thing all day today. So along with the jacket required, you're going to have to hang on to it a bit. By noontime, we're looking at temperatures just around 56 degrees. That's about as good as it gets for the day today with sun and clouds and then fair skies. But look at we're dipping into the upper 30s and 40s by tomorrow morning. So we'll talk more about that and how long that lasts in just a bit. Let's get you out the door though on this Tuesday. Skies are brightening, but maybe a little redder on your map at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely a little redder. It hasn't been the easiest. From Jersey City, boy, it's a great one, Maria. Right, always this time of day as the skies are brightening, a beautiful, beautiful view. But we're going to stick around New Jersey and Elvis is going to leave the building today. Hopefully, this sweet boy uh, heading out enjoying some quiet weather. We've got 56 degrees through 11 a.m. It's about as warm as it gets, at least for today. Not the case all week. We're going to feel like summer again. I'll show you that trend in the 10-day. This time yesterday, remember, we were socked in with fog, so all throughout the neighborhoods, reduced visibility and drizzle. Much easier to get the kids up and at them today. It's going to be a little bit on the cool side. We've got some breezy conditions. That's with us all day, so breezy for the lunch hour and recess to make sure they have their jacket and maybe some sweater weather heading into tomorrow. The reason, of course, our big area of low pressure, we're in the regime where it's on that cooler flow, but things start to change pretty quickly. By the end of the week, it's back to warm. I mean, really warm and feeling like summer again before we track another cold front by the end of the weekend. This is going to bring us some much needed rainfall and maybe even a few thunderstorms. So a lot going on the next couple days. Of course, the story this morning is yes, a beautiful view, no fog, a few clouds, 50 degrees out there right now, breezy at times, already seeing some gusts over 20 miles per hour from White Plains and Isla Bridgeport too, but it said offshore flow here it at times today could be 20 30 miles per hour but it's also something that's gonna be with us even tomorrow you can see the wind gust forecast even tomorrow is going to be 20 25 mile per hour winds and unfortunately we have low relative humidity today along with those gusty winds so once again we're talking about an elevated fire danger right now the heads up is for Monmouth and Ocean counties today uh, so keep that in mind no unnecessary burns no cigarette butts out the window please and as we can see those winds staying brisk but temperature wise pretty much of what you see is what you get. We're not going to budge very much. 56 degrees by lunchtime. Our high today just about into the upper 50s and we stay in the low 50s later on this evening. Clear skies feeling chilly tomorrow. Yes, I think I may have to dust off the wind chill graphic for tomorrow because 35 in Sussex, 36 in Poughkeepsie, 44 in the city. It's going to feel a little chillier, but the recovery is nice. It's quick back into the 60s tomorrow. You get a patchy sprinkle to come on through, but again, nothing like what we had yesterday. So uh, looking good good from that perspective. It is a chillier. We're down to 36 in Claryville, Liberty in the upper 30s. Newburgh now at 45. Mount Kisco, Danbury in the upper 40s. That's what we find from Linden and Newark. West Orange at 45 degrees. The Battery now at 50 and City Island at 51 degrees. Note the forecast temperatures not much warmer than where we are right now. By 1 o'clock, sun and clouds in 57. See the bounce to the camera looking into Nassau County. Breezy all day. Those gusts over 20 miles per hour at times. That should ease later on tonight by 10 o'clock clear skies and we'll be about 51 degrees at that point. All right, let, let's get you out the door because on this Tuesday it's been busy for you already Adele and so some slowdowns. Uh, yeah, it's really been one right after mm -hmm. another out there, but at least we have that beautiful yes. sunrise. Maria, looking at the week ahead post tax day, you might say Maria. <laughs> yeah, nothing getting in the way of you getting to the mailbox or the post office today. 56 degrees. We head to Colonia, New Jersey, where we get sunshine and that steady warm up back into the 80s by the end of the week. Do have some weather moving in for the weekend. I've got to navigate around for you. We'll show you the details in the 10 day our component. I don't know what their wind threshold is, but it's, uh, it's going to be pretty gusty there the next few days, including on Thursday. So we'll keep an eye on it. Of course, we're definitely gusty. You see, there's a big spin of our area of low pressure brought some wintry conditions to parts of the Midwest and the Great Lakes. We're under the influence of that with some cooler air moving on down. It is going to be uh, definitely feeling more like early April than mid to late April. That's going to change over the next few days where it's the opposite. That warm southerly flow ahead of the next area of low pressure and that cold front. It's going to warm us 
back to summertime levels, but it's also going to bring us another round of some much needed rainfall. This could amount to a good amount of rain. In fact, over the next week, adding up to maybe as much as one to two inches of rain across the area, that would go a long way in helping what has been a relatively dry spring so far and certainly recently. And because today we have the low relative humidity and the gusty winds combination for an elevated fire risk today, that includes Monmouth and Ocean County. So heads up there. Happy to see good visibility today. A nice change of pace as that front's come on through. You can see the Staten Island Expressway a little bit tougher yesterday. 50 degrees with that sun coming up. We'll see some patchy clouds through the day today, but note the temperatures. We kind of stop in the mid 50s by lunchtime. Our high today just about 57 degrees. Those winds stay brisk though, about 10 to 20 miles per hour at times, gusting 20, 25. So it stays breezy overnight tonight. You're going to feel the chill tomorrow morning down to 44 degrees outside the city, easily dipping into the 30s. And you guessed it, it may have a little bit of a wind chill effect, at least in the morning. But the recovery is nice tomorrow afternoon. We get the sunshine back a little bit closer to average 64 degrees and those northwest winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Looking at 24 hours ago by almost 10, 20 degrees in some spots. So I think you got to dust off of the jackets again. We've got Sussex at 45, 46 in Poughkeepsie, 50 degrees in the city. You can see the patchy clouds too. Uh, clear right now so far over Long Island. It's been a bit breezy already this morning, 10, 20 mile per hour gusts. That's going to be a, an issue later today where those gusts are going to be pretty consistently 20, maybe as high as 30 miles per hour at times, adding to that cool feel. By 9 a.m., oh, you see the camera bouncing around. By 9 a.m., 54 degrees, 56 degrees at 11 a.m. That's about as good as it gets today as far as temperatures, trying to get into the upper 50s. You see patchy clouds through the day by later on in dinner time hour. We're still talking the mid 50s before a bigger cool down for tonight. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, but let's get you out the door. It's been a busy morning for you already, Adele. Lots of slowdowns. Uh, yeah, definitely lots of slowdowns. So if you're heading out the door right